I think we're, we're doing everything we can do, but we do need the, the provincial investment. We do need those partners as well. Penticton politicians and staff are optimistic after a provincial summit discussing affordable housing. City staff, council members, and the mayor were in Victoria this week to hear more about a new multi-billion dollar four-point Homes for People plan. We are uh, on the same page about the need for you to have uh, the financial ability to respond to the growth you're seeing in your communities, uh, a down payment, I would describe it as. A bit light on details right now, but lots of levers that the province is pulling to both increase the supply of housing in BC, uh, remove regulations, um, and also have protection for renters and uh, address some of the homelessness. Laven said Penticton needs help with housing, both in affordability and supply. And it's impacting, I'd say, every faucet of our economy right now. Um, employers can't attract workers here because housing is too expensive or it's not available. Um, you're seeing it on the streets with homelessness. People on the margins are getting forced out of their housing and, and into the shelters and, and into the streets in some cases. Investment coming from all levels of government is encouraging. The percentage of the housing sector that is social housing has been shrinking since the, um, since the early 1990s and I think we're the generation that's coming up now is dealing with the impacts of that and a lot of discussion at the housing summit it's going to take a generation to make up for that lack of investment that's happening and you're seeing big announcements billions of dollars from both the federal and provincial governments to try to address this this shortfall but the past two decades uh, there really has not been that investment and we're dealing with with that right now the city hopes to find out more details before official legislation is introduced from the province in the fall. For Gasnet News in Penticton, I'm Casey Richardson.